the key understanding on multiplying and dividing integers or positive and negative numbers is to understand what you see right up here at the top. If the signs are the same, the signs on each number are the same, the answer is always going to be positive. If the signs are different, then the answer is always going to be negative. The way I remember that is that, you know, when things are the same, that's just a positive experience. When things are different, oh, it's negative. All right, so here we have 8 times 5. Just ignore the signs. 8 times 5 is 40. Now, this has a negative sign. That has no sign, which means it's positive. So since the signs are different, the answer is negative 40. Here we have negative 8 times negative 5. 8 times 5 is 40. And we have two signs, negative signs, that are the same, which means our answer is positive. Here we have negative 8 times 5. And again, 8 times 5 is 40. Ignore the signs. The signs are different because 5 is positive and 8 is negative. Since they're different, the answer is negative. Same thing works with division. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Is the answer positive or negative? Well, the signs are different, so the answer is negative. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Here we have a negative 42 and a negative 6, so the answer is positive. You don't have to write a plus sign for positive numbers. Here I have 22 divided by negative 11. This is kind of like this, 22 divided by negative 11. And the answer is 2. And since the signs are different, the answer is negative 2.